comes up. Yeah, you feel like you got to score. Here comes a play action. Hart trying to step up, and they've got him. They've got him. It's Woodyard, the first to get there. He's going to launch another kick. They have one return this time from the goal line by Adoree Jackson. Bounces off a hit. Oh, how high can you leap? That's crazy. Looking over for Gus Bradley week 15 of last season and named the permanent replacement in January as Bortles is set. Football is loose and Tennessee has it. Here he is again off the edge. He badly beats the left tackle Cam Robinson, the rookie who held up extremely well last week. And Bortles has no chance, has no idea. That Iraq pose right there. Nice job by Eric. Second and 25, Bortles pass deflected high in the air, and that's intercepted into the hands of Curtis Riley. That happens in the NFL. You know, they, they did not want to be throwing the football right here. I couldn't quite see who it was who got the hands on it. Might have been Avery Williamson right there. Favorite to win the division. Bortles hit on the release, that's deflected again and intercepted. Second time we've seen that today. Denaris Searcy off the deflection, eight yards on the return. Massive play for Tennessee's defense. Feels the pressure, gets the ball out, gets it to the, white, the right receiver, but it's behind Lee. I mean, Lee has to reach back. Kind of the run player, but Kevin Bayard is a guy that can pretty much do it all on the back end. Sip bringing it out today with that hamstring injury. This is the rookie Jackson breaking tackles out past the 40. Jackson still going inside Jacksonville territory. With a late spin right around the 35. What a play by Jackson. Wilson looking left, firing left, knocked away. Was going for Richardson, but LaShawn Sims had great coverage. Can use it and got an onside kick it here. So that's what they will do, Ryan, the onside kick. It's up there, and it's recovered by Tennessee. Delaney Walker out on there, the hands team corral. A great footwork, picked off. Nice interception. Receiver, but he's a physical guy. Ajayi picks up the first down. He lost the football. Scooped up by Byard. And Byard with a recovery for the Titans. They get the ball right back. Big cough went up. Now we see Jay Ajayi. Two guys who are normally pretty sure-handed have put the ball on the turf. And during the first half. Here's your deep threat wide receiver still is at the bottom. Cutler in trouble. No one brings him down. And now it's struggled and picked off. Intercepted by Ty Smith on the return and dragged down by Jarvis Landry. Miller has time, he steps up, but then he ducks down, he bobs around, and he tries to make something out of nothing. And you always hear coaches say, well, he's trying to do too much. Right there, Jay Cutler trying to do a little. This year only to have both of them called back due to penalty. They'll have a chance to bring this one back. Rigoberto Sanchez is kicked off down to the goal line. And here comes Adoree Jackson. Got three yards on first down. Brissett comfortable in that pocket all night long. Doyle had trouble on the catch. Then lost the football on the tackle by his recovery. Looked like Wesley Woodyard, the Gruden grinder, pregame recovered the fumble. Well, Jack Doyle was the number three tight end behind Fleener and Dwayne Allen. Then he became the number two tight end. And Williams comes in to the left. It's a play fake for Seth. Will he run for it? He lunges. Where are they going to mark it? It's going to be short. Wesley. From the Tennessee 28, Cleveland without timeouts. Kaiser delivers the pass and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kevin Byard. And disaster once again for Kaiser and Cleveland. Rearing their ugly head once again for the 21-year-old rookie quarterback. And it, it seems like it's always the high ball, whether it's Kaiser or Kevin Hall. Let him play a little bit. Don't like that call. Former Super Bowl champion with New England. Kaiser on a bootleg pass, and that pass is picked out of the air. Second interception.
interception for Kevin Byard. He had the red zone pick late in the first half, and he does it again here. A great job by Byard, number 31. Bait this up. He goes as if he's going to cover his primary coverage in the flat. The top pass interference penalties it has been a major theme this season for the Browns. Kessler off the seam, and that pass is intercepted. And guess who? It's Byard. His third interception of the day. And to pick up a big run. Longest rush of the day for Cleveland. This is Kessler, and he is set. Derek Morgan, who was a question mark this week with that abdominal strain, where they are now faced with a tough 39 here. Kessler from the gun. Here they come again. Kessler flushed out, and he is buried. Derek Morgan and a rack post swallow. Rare and unusual speed, but it just doesn't show up when you watch the film. Collins was in, first and ten. Flacco airing it out, and he's... Oh, what a great defensive play on the rejection. Ricochet, Bayard has got it. Another pick for Bayard. He's got six takeaways in a little over five games. Logan Ryan is actually the one that's going to make this play. He comes off his primer and he, he fall, finds a way to fall back into the post. He sees it late. He's the one that makes the contact and the ball pops up into the air for a waiting kick. the nickel. Third and 11. Rainey goes out. Flacco is brought down. Morgan and Klug. Carl Klug at the bottom right there. First sack of the season. Line of scrimmage can help an offense that's had some problems through the air. First and 10. Jensen the block at that center. And that is picked off, and Bayard has done it again. And here is a fourth in inches to start the fourth. Buck Allen is stoned at the line. The extra effort may have driven him back, oh. hit initially by Casey. And the spot will be interesting. Loose in the hole on Buck Allen. I just don't understand how you do this. I don't know if it's a missed assignment, but that's we talk about execute opposite foot. That, Look at that. That's yeah. pretty good looking, huh? Kind of the Irish Did go 10 yards. Kick right there and well. still rolling. Didn't go 10 yards yet. Big thing for the Bengals. And they're going to hand off to Mixon, and he's going to be nailed by Kevin Bayard. Well, Bayard can do other things besides having they during their problems this year. They have a third down and 11, and losing the ball is Dalton. Fumble. And it was Arakpo who forced it, and the Bengals. Bengals, from a protection standpoint, um, Abwehi right there on the end. And the ball is loose, fumbled by Dalton. And position here. Hits him right in the hands. Andy Dalton, the ball is up, hits him right in the hands, just bounces, doesn't secure it. And oftentimes when you're pulling out. Roethlisberger communicates with Marquise Pouncey, his safety pressure is on, and Ben will go down. He'll be sacked as Derek Morgan. He and Carl Byer leads the NFL in interceptions with six. And sacked is Jacoby Brissett on third and ten. Daquan Jones got to him. Back in week nine. Trying to improve on a three and seven record, and Brissett in trouble again. And at the 20, he'll go down. The ball is out. But the weather, there is none in the area. Brissett keeps and goes down right away. And a little bit unusual. It's really the late. Cut! Brissett is going to be sacked. And Arakpo got to him first and would not let him go. Cut! Third and three blitz coming. And they are going to get a sack. The seventh sack of Brissett today. And Arakpo. Cut! Kill, kill on second and ten. Ball is fumbled by Marlon Mack. And the Titans fight, and it looks like they have it. Mack had a chance to retrieve his own loose football, and Tennessee with the takeaway. In this situation, you know, Marlon Mack, just, just get on it. Just get on it. You booted it right there with your knee. You got a ton of guys coming. Don't try and scoop that one up. Just get down on that football. Don't take the bat. Scrambling after Rodgers and Mack. Couldn't get the recovery, and it's first and goal from the minute. Seven. Going down at the 43-yard line. First sack of the day. I'm gonna let you get over the top of me. At least not yet. Savage under pressure and going down again. Savage. 
Savage stepping up, going deep towards the corner, and intercepted in the end zone by LaShawn Sims. To make the catch, watch the inside release, he does a little post. And then I think LaShawn Sims does the exact opposite thing of what he should do, bringing the ball out and, and risk losing. Okay. Gabbert looks to go to the air. Cyprian coming, and Cyprian has the sack. First sack of the season for... <laughs> Gabbert with pressure coming, and Gabbert goes down. Second one to Eric Walden. He now has four on the... Year. Here comes the pressure, and for the fourth time today... The His accomplishments are all earned. Third down and seven, and another sack for the Tennessee defense. Brian Arakbo. It's Williams, and he's thrown for a loss. The Titans defense make DJ Foster checks in. Big play for the Cardinals. Gabbert pump fakes, throws, nearly intercepted. Bryce McCain got a hand. Kick on the way, and it's no good. Not even close for Phil Dawson. Second and goal. Gabbert, pressure coming, and he's sacked. Jarrell Casey with the sack. That's the seventh. Garoppolo, four out of four on this opening drive. Pressure coming, and he's sacked. Avery Williamson brings him down. Nobody moved. Third down and 11. Pressure coming, and down goes Garoppolo. Wesley Woodyard, the first to... Still not, uh, still not confident to pull the trigger right there. It is a fake after they faked a fake in the air and knocked away incomplete. Michael Thomas. Jared Goff. Ball comes out of his hands and the Rams are on it. An alert play by Andrew Whitworth, 10-yard line. Ball is out and it's a touchdown Tennessee Titans. Wesley Woodyard scoops and scores. Jared Goff is going back to make the handoff. It looked like Jamon Brown went the wrong way. So you're down tight. And Again now getting his last two extra points. And drives this a directional kick. Jackson going across the field. Slips a tackle. Dory Jackson, can he turn the corner? Up the sideline he goes and into Ram territory. And great field position. Early with nowhere to go. Game break time. Carissa. What? This time they'll give to Fournette. And nothing happening there either. Portals incomplete. Just. So now the punting unit is on the field. A change of plans. Ball loose. Penalty marker down. Covering inside the 25, and it's 25 yard line is, uh, let's see who. And we'll look at it here. This is Mickens. Yeah, if you watch Mickens, he's not even going for the ball at the end. He's looking to make contact with the Titans to get that interference call. Jacksonville with one timeout remaining. That pass is complete, and the ball is loose. And Tennessee has it. Tying it up, and now you're a couple scores down. This Tennessee crowd strongly behind its defense, and Jarrell Casey. Portal off his back foot, throwing, intercepted at the 30-yard line. Picked off by Kevin Byard. Either get out of bounds or get down to try and have a shot for the end zone on the next down. Down the middle of the field, intercepted! Picked off, leading eighth. This is gonna be one happy town tonight.